All right. I opened the meeting. I left that for you, David. You, you have dogs? He's crazy. No, I don't know where this came from. He likes me to have puppies and stuff. Hey, uh, is that from you? Know, you? Your yeah. wife? Remember, we have to give you the high sign. You just can't start. <laughs> no, we, I just put it in. Yeah, okay. But I'm just saying, you got to do that before you start. That's no, it. we haven't started yet. Just plug the that. Okay, you know. okay. Thank you. I only said that Pledge of Allegiance. Next time, we'll have put on TV so that people know that we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I think it's a good thing to say that, especially mm -hmm. today. Too many things going on. Uh, now we are we open. Okay, I open the meeting. It's a 702, and every everybody's present except for the chairman. And I, I'm a vice chairman, so we do what we can, and uh, you can come first. And then we have time to uh, to uh, for the minutes, both for the minutes. All right. Okay, let's do it. You got any problem with that, sir? No. So no. this is jerky? <laughs> you got, no. You're going to be a nice guy no. today? This is park. Oh, we're doing yeah, park, park first? Okay. I mean, is that all right? I can wait till after. I, oh, there's there's nobody else here. Is there anyone here for jerky? Oh. Nobody else here. Dave came, stuck his head in. You want to wait? He's in, the, he's in the corridor. He's there on the hallway, yeah. Why don't you, uh, yeah, go tell him, sir. They're coming soon, will you? Dirky Farm. I'm sorry to bother you, but when the meeting starts, mm -hmm. you should be able to come inside and, and not discussing outside. Yeah, no, we thought we were 715. Okay. Yeah, sorry. sorry That's okay. That. That's yeah. okay. You now, you seem like you are the first, and uh, you okay, come in. It. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> don't you. forget to sign your name. I think uh, she forgot to leave <coughs> anything there to sign. We got any empty piece of paper here at all now? I don't have any blank ones for you. I don't believe it. All right. Why do we have to do it? We have extra agendas. Well, we got a yeah, just pass through. But well, we don't have any paper, extra paper here. You have an agenda just right in the back. All right. All right. So I'll just write down. What's right down the back? I got a piece of paper. You do? Yep. Thank you. You don't have to do it. He's going to stop. Thank you. I know you're supposed to be 7.15, but the, the meeting starts at 7, and it'd be nice if I, you know, I mean, I'm not reprimanded you, because I love you guys. Yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're only here we to help we you guys. Right? We're only here to help uh, everybody. But uh, it's nice when everybody's, when the, the meeting starts at 7, everybody's here. Uh, am I polite enough? You're good. Thank you. Okay. In the meantime, the signing. <laughs> the board member report, do you have any reports? Uh, do you have any reports? No. Uh, no. We have a lot of minutes. That uh, minutes we have the the 14, the 20, and the 12. So we got three of them that we have to read it and uh, okay. Correspondence update. I don't think I have anything because otherwise it'll be right in front of me. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one here for 13. See. You're right on first line. I'm ready. Okay, before you sign it, just listen to me. I'm going to read something that uh, Jim will ask you or find out or what we got here written. I have review a plan for the proposal sewage disposal system for the, for the above mentioned side of the set review common to the engineer. In general, if the lot support the design of a septic system with perk rate larger than allowed by your regulation without affecting Abara, I don't have a problem with the granting the variance. I believe this regulation was enacted to limit the effect to the Abara from the installation of a system that has incorporated so much of the lot that the grading will affect Abara. The lots of this subdivision has been designed to accommodate the system size and feel so I will not have a problem with the request of variance. Title five requires soil testing in the primary and reserve leaching area. The proposal plan for this site doesn't comply with this requirement. And I have requested the applicant schedule additional testing prior to the recommendation of the board approve the permit for this site 
this lot this is not yet being done yep so um for the record brian Gaudreau with hancock associates along with david uh, guthrie project proponent so the testing that um mr graffy is referring to the test pits are just slightly outside the footprint of the system as currently designed so what we're going to do is we're just going to revise the footprint so that the testing falls within um the leaching area so that means you're going to comply with what he's correct saying. absolutely you you do me a favor when when this has been granted would you be kind enough to notify the office with the Okay, I know it's going to be on absolutely agenda. Yep. All right, so yes. you now do you want to? If it was supposed to be done prior to, I understand that. But the question is, he's going to do so. He doesn't have to come back. I mean, you have to realize the weather has been very beautiful, yes. like in Florida, super sunny. Okay, 30 million people being affected by the weather, mm -hmm. so you <coughs> can't expect these people to, to, to test on the on the ground that's solid and practically un. Mm -hmm workable so we will take that word and they, they will notify the, the the office of the desire from the agent which is a very nice young man okay so okay. so the testing they'd be doing the testing to inform the design um so we wouldn't i don't think that we could come to a final <coughs> conclusion until the testing's done and then well, the design I, is done I don't okay. mean to interrupt, yeah. but the question is if the gentleman says the engineer is going to do this and is going to bring it to, a, to the office, there is no reason for them to come back again. We'll just grant the variance and we'll go from there. They, grant not the variance if, if Jim is okay with it. Right. Yeah. We, we're going to grant the variance with the option <coughs> of if you don't do that, you will not get the permit. But if this is just just uh, legal stuff mm -hmm. so we I personally and I hope the board will go with me because of the weather if it was a different weather you would have done it the question is you couldn't do it because the weather was very very uncomfortable for 30 million people but I guess this is dated this memo is dated January 9th um, there, was, we got. there was no on the ground sorry what? I don't know if there's snow on the ground in general. Yeah, but I guess. Well, I know that, but I'm meaning from when they should have done the testing. Yeah. Okay. I don't know when the testing was supposed to be done. Yeah, that's my point. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Are you retesting or sliding the design? No, we're, we're shifting the design. We're so so we, have, we have testing on, on lot 13 that's compliant, well, with the exception of the fact that we got one perk test that right. was 31 minutes per inch, which is why we're before you today. The design, there was <coughs> a slight, or there was a comment that Jim had made regarding the fact that the test pit, the test pits themselves were just slightly outside the footprint of the soil absorption system. We're going to revise the footprint right. of the soil absorption system to use the existing testing. So what's th the variance you're looking for has to do with the perk rate? With the 31 minute perk, correct. It's exclusively for... There are, um, there are two issues. One is we're here before you for, mm -hmm. for relief from the perk rate. Right. Jim's got some housekeeping notes on the design issue, which okay. we're going to modify mm -hmm. to accommodate that. Okay. That won't involve you. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, I entertain a motion. <coughs> I don't even want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> What's a normal perk test take? 30 and less is uh, the local regulation, and up to 40 on lots less than 40,000 square feet are allowed by variance. So this is a doing my homework for me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's exclusively to the Littleton bylaws, not a Title V yeah. um, design constraint. All right, I'll move to um, grant it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, the second item uh, that we're here to discuss this evening is with respect to lot seven. Um, I believe Dave was here last meeting and had asked for a sign off on that. The house is under agreement, it's under PNS, um, and the, the prospective buyers are, are anticipating a closing at some point, but we're waiting on a sign off on that. Now, the last discussion we had regarding lot seven was with respect to kind of the farm pond area and standing water. 
since we had that discussion, I believe it was either late November or early December, uh, Planning Board has signed off on it. Conservation last night, while they haven't signed off on the exact plan, they only had four commissioners there. They have indicated that they will sign off on the next meeting. And I believe Amy had coordinated with Shelley to convey that information to, uh, to the board. So what we're requesting tonight is to essentially release Lot 7. So it's been done, uh, everything that uh, Jimmy already asked. So I wanted the, the to re re reiterate. Huh? We, we meet the Title V uh, regulations on the system. Okay. The concern was if the pond was to flood again. Yes. There was some concern with the existing system there. The planning board signed off on the installation of the pipe. We haven't put the pipe in yet. But We're going to do that in March. Off. They signed mm -hmm. off. We have a copy of that plan here. Yeah, we'll do, uh, and then last night we brought that to conservation. And, and we have a copy <coughs> on it. Yep. Did Shelly not leave you that package? I went over uh, that with her well, today. Well, I might have it here. Uh, look, look at what I got. <laughs> can, can, I, can I look for that? Because I went over that with her yeah, today. I oh, you did? I want Seven that. Fraser yeah. right there. Yeah, and we usually yeah. go on, okay, on Jim's right review here. of things. You, you guys know that. All right. So it's t it's hard, you know, if you come in the day of right to here. go over with something. This has been done for a while, though. No, no Fraser. I understand. Yeah. But Jim, comment. Board of Health. Spoke to the Commissioner Lotz. Drive over there. Uh, vice, they are so closing in a, on a, on a, what do you call that? Like so, uh, the house. Huh? Closing on the house. No, a solution. Oh. It, like it says solution. It doesn't say it's resolved. It, uh, so I will recommend so waiting direct, until so the plan is approved by the another, um, conservation. Was it approved by the it's conservation? You have the letter no, from conservation there? Sorry? This is just a release for the work. Okay. From Amy. Let me see. Let me see one second. Let me read what on October 20. O October 23, 2017, Health Agent Jim Garafi, Board of no, Health not, Chairman, and John Davis and uh, Joseph Pizzola, uh, Hancock Associates met to discuss the statute of the certificate. Is that what you're referring to? No, it says right here. From five Jim. Jim. I would recommend waiting until the plan is approved said. by I, the CONCOM. I just read, you're you're I just saying read there's it. an additional. So I think um, maybe you should maybe. just wait. Maybe. We met with conservation last night, if I may. We met with conservation last night. They said we, we agree with the the pipe that you're putting in, we agree with the plan. We'd like to see the plan modified to he had the wrong street on there. He had Spruce Street instead of Fraser, <laughs> And they would like to see a, a larger picture of it so that they know the entire pipe is on lot 11. Okay. That housekeeping issue with the easement's going to be installed. And I said to the board, could you please tell your agent that you're okay with the pipe being installed? And they said, we are fundamentally okay with the pipe being installed. We want to see the plan cleaned up. But the question that we- Amy wrote a letter to you guys today. I went over it with Shelly today. She was coming tonight to show it to you. I don't know if it's in your package, but it's done. Okay, let me see. <coughs> it's a letter or a memo? Wait a minute. Just so I can... It's an email, it. I think. It's an email. Yeah. Well, there's nothing... This one here is of date 9. And if, if no. you read it, there's nothing there about that. This is so not it. Is there anything attached? I'm going to... I'm going to... I read the email. Is that? No. Uh, let me go. This is a... There's the... Lot 13, Dirk Heaver. <coughs> oh, here we go. Okay, the Conservation Commission is general agreement with the proposal to cover solution based on the attached draft plan. There are some details to be hammered out, but the general location, size, and elevation are in, in agreement. Seems that they will hopefully to be able to install this in March. Hopefully, avoid any interim flo uh, flooding, right? I assume that uh, uh, the area does not flood again between now and then. Then they will pump it down as they have done be twice. So increasing the sign of the size of a culvert or something to drain? No. No. What you have is you have a sub catchment area that is now a wetland <coughs> and has always been a wetland adjacent right, to lot right. seven. Right. It is flooded it? last year under under construction. Is that what wetlands do? And this is on Monday. I'm sorry to this is sorry. on Monday. That's what wetlands yeah. do. They flood. Right. But this one, I think, took on an exceptional amount of water because we didn't have our curbing in. We had 12 acres now you exposed. Have it. Now we have our curbing in. We pumped the pond down to its natural elevation, if you will. It hasn't flooded again. But we're doing, correct, we're doing this overflow pipe, which is going to emulate the, the, the saddle topography that was there prior to us getting there and installing the road. And that's going to be the suspenders to the belt that's out there. We don't think the pond's going to flood again. However, everybody's concerned that it may Everybody's in agreement that we're going to put this overflow pipe in from the Different. farmer's pond to the wetland through lot 11. That's the plan that the planning board signed. 
conservation's in agreement with it. What they want to see is the plan that was submitted to them cleaned up. So there's the conservation approval. Approving. That's the planning board. And approval. here's the, <coughs> so the letter, the note so from know, the, the CONCOM. It's in general, the proposed so it's, it's up to the board. Draft. If you, we have the facts we read here, we got the this doesn't okay. And uh, let's see from there. Just make sure everything goes to the office. So you're saying okay, the flooding was created by uh, like man created because of the construction it caused yeah. the overflow. Yeah. It wasn't because of runoff. It wasn't because of rain or all this snow that's about to melt. It was runoff down the road, but our curbing wasn't yeah. in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it would have no, no it So it wasn't functioning. The yeah. drainage wasn't it. functioning. Okay. So now so you have it in set. Now we have all the curbing in. It hasn't flooded. It hasn't flooded. Okay. So, but the, the problem I, I see with this, I'll just tell you guys what I think, is there, there's a package there. It's stapled together. It's got Amy's note that doesn't really come to a conclusion. It says it's in process. It's a draft. It looks good. And then we have a note from Jim at the top saying we shouldn't approve until it's done. So that's the package that we have. And um, Jim. I, I don't think that I feel comfortable approving it, you know, given that that's what we've got from our um, administrative assistant and the, the, uh, the proposed culvert solution. I think it says eight. Oh, it says eight. This is the key. Because it says eight. And they went through the Well, they stapled that package together for us. They know our health agent. But we don't know. With that direction from our health agent. That's what I need to go for that. What's the date on January 8th on Amy's Okay, and, they, and you say you went today? We went to conservation last night. Last night. We asked them to write that letter. Okay. They didn't take the vote last night because they want the plan cleaned up. If you right. read the details of the letter, it says we would like, well, I'll read it. Well, we have. It doesn't we, say the design's going to change. It's going to say that there's some yeah. detail on the plan that they would like added in. And we have a note dated today. Yeah, this from is our, a, yeah. This our health agent, and that's Gen January 9, 18, and this is Jim Comment. So I'll let you read it. Look. I, no, I read that. I read that. Yeah. So I don't consider it reasonable. We can't install the pipe in the middle of the winter. No. Yet the house is closing February 2nd. Right. Okay. The, the septic system is not in jeopardy. Okay. Never okay. has been. Uh, this is a, this, I know. I understand that. I know that Jim, we, we love him. His comment is adequate, but the question is, with this weather we have, they have problems. I see, and there's another thing. They have to come back in two weeks just to say, yeah, I understand the situation. But then there's a situation where <coughs> they clo somebody closes on a house, they move in there, but they the not snow melts, they, they flood, they then not. they have to pump the house. No, 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 wait a minute. No, they don't flood. Mm -hmm. They will not, not close the house unless this works well. That's what you're they, what they're saying is it won't it because won't it's not going to affect the house. Right. But what you're saying is it's a speculation of there's ifs in what's being said in a lot of that and what you're saying too. But there's not. But what they're saying is guaranteed. If you if you look at the so. the construction activity flooding last winter at elevation 265, mm -hmm. which was hot, pretty high, I think we all agree with that. Mm -hmm. I believe you called it the Guthrie Pond. I did. Yeah. The the <laughs> at 265, it had no effect on the system that's installed today. None. Scientifically, no effect. You look at the numbers on the bed, bed bottom, mm -hmm. the four feet of sand in our bottom of our trenches. That 265 elevation has zero effect on the, on the system that's installed today. That being said, we have permission from conservation if that pond does flood, in the unlikely event that it does flood prior to the installation of the overflow pipe, we have permission to pump the pond, which we did not have last winter. So you ha you have your coverage is it's not going to affect the system if it floods. Unlikely that it will, but if it does, we have permission to pump it down, and then once March come, we have permission to install that pipe. Mm -hmm. That well, letter okay. was in intended to suggest that we have permission to install it. Okay. However, because they want the plan cleaned nothing up. Nothing is installed properly right at this moment. Correct. Right. We couldn't get planning or conservation to sign well, off on it this fall. And, uh, but you, you have preventative measures in place correct. to correct. take care of in case yep. the scenario changes. And, uh, and, and that's another thing. You, you're correct. And the question is we can make a restriction. He, he won't be able to sell the house. When that is done, if something happened, because we go by what they say now. 
Well, I guess there's a reason that we go through processes. I, I know, but and that, I that, think is that's what that is winter. You know what I mean? Well, it's I've, winter I've, every year. Though. I know, but the question <laughs> is, this winter has been the worst winter in history. The worst winter in 100 years. I mean, I'm not saying it. <laughs> there are people in television, they do say that. But I think, in your defense, to your point, we've, we've been asking, not this group, but conservation planning to install that pipe for eight months now. Yes. And they finally come around to concede to allow us to let it happen. Okay. And it just happens to be in January, and it right. happens to be a month prior to the closing of this house. Right. We've been nothing but asking to install this pipe right. since June. Mm -hmm. But we, we, we can only do so much with, with them. And, and because you want to sell the house, I understand. Can we put a restriction? The board can has the right to say, we give the variance, but the question is going to be a restriction. We're not even asking for a variance. We're just asking for a sign-off on the yeah. installed system that right. had a bed bottom inspection. So you just that wanted had a sand you just wanted to install the system. No, system no the system's installed and has met all your regulations and has yeah, been yeah, yeah, inspected yeah. throughout the entire process. It meets Title Five. What? There's no mechanism to hold this thing. With, with the, what we've seen so far was the worst flooding, and didn't affect the system. Correct. But then when the snow melts, and when there's other creation, you know now that there's. In my effect. means to prevent any other flooding correct because of curbing and everything else and what it what the issue is is the pond not the septics right, right. so right. the septics have never been and why been would the health agent be telling us not to sign on well, because he, he has the if safe. in his head he wants yeah to be the what Ex exactly that's what well I'm let me ask you this if we want to go into the details of the health agent why wouldn't he sign off on lot five it's 250 feet 300 feet from this pond he wouldn't sign off you guys had to why wouldn't he sign off on lot six? It's 150 feet from this pond. He did bed bottoms on all three of these systems. No groundwater. Did sand inspections. Did trench inspections. Our, our as built met Title V, yet he wouldn't sign. Well, he has his reasons. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But it's, it's, it's independent of the pond, it. isn't it? Of course he has his reasons. Well, right. We but don't know what they are, but they're independent I, of the I, pond. I understand what you're saying. The question is this is a different story. Today, is, uh, it's up to the board. Uh, to entertain a motion and see if it, I, I think it'd be okay. When well, you get this thing done, you have no problem. But I'll leave it up to you guys. I think that, that as you know, this, this project got some attention because it, there were some problems out there and it went to the Board of Selectmen. And, and so people are, I think, along, the, because there have been some issues with it, that um, there's more concern about it, and that's probably why he's being more careful. And um, I think that's why I'm being more careful too. I mean, there's a good reason to do that. There's there's that always going to be the what if, but if we sit on what ifs all the time, then there's always going to be a problem somewhere else too that right. we're not going to yeah. approve. Right. So right. they've come through on every sing every single thing else. Yeah. You know, every other. Th well, that was bad grammar but <laughs> everything else as they've come through on and what they've been done. doing they do good work so it's Whenever prior they, to this there was not the work done so mm -hmm. it caused a problem now the work is done mm -hmm. they know that their work is true uh, I mean I'm to the process of being it. done completely yeah. so let's That's say we, we give you the okay you will let us know if something happened you stop if well, the thing is, they have contingency plans already in place. So if, yeah. if it floods again, it they're going to be pumping it. They've got approval to do it. They've got well, it ways to prevent it from getting to and, and we the didn't, system. And we didn't have permission last year to pump. Conservation okay. wouldn't grant us permission to pump. Why wouldn't do, they grant you permission? We don't know. Do they, the office has the, uh, the authorization? What they said was they wanted, they wanted further, uh, uh, not research, discovery. Group. Discovery. Regarding we did all the discovery. Area. We then we Green International is your third party review for the town. We then hired the third additional third party review of their choice, a hydrogeologist, who who agreed with what Hancock did, and and then that's why conservation has come around. Prior to that, they wouldn't allow us. Okay, I, if to the pump. I think uh, conservation has a feeling that I don't think it should be any problem. But now we have. So I, I, it's not to give them a break, but the question is. The winter, and then they, were, they wait so long to get everything practically done, and now they're getting the process to get it done. They can't get the, they can't get the very. So I, 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 I I do agree with that to a point where it's it's when do we stop preventing? Because at this point they've they've put together the measures to prevent right. any problems to right. the system. Are they, are they required? The me I mean, you're talking about measures, but are they required anywhere? What? 
What? With respect to you're talking about mitigation measures if if there's an issue in the interim, right? <clears throat> so well, the, the, go ahead. The, the interim um, mitigation, if you will, or, or resolution until this pipe is installed, should there be any sort of flooding is pumping it down? I'm sorry, you did say that. So, so we they, they got we'll pump it down right? if there's Which an is a issue voluntary prior. Action. We, we were advocating right. for yeah. the pumping. So prior the snow melt causes the, a flood. Yep, prior yeah. to installation of the no, culvert. If, uh, and that's then a big if, and I was just bringing that a big if. No, 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 normally no, it's going to drain But I do want to clarify, though, if you drive out there and you see in that wetland six inches of water, that's its natural state. If you see three feet of water, that's, that's something that natural we're going to pump. Right. But we've had this conversation with conservation because we've had five or six inches of water in that right, wetland, right, and it's right, essentially right. drained itself down. But that's what makes it a wetland. Right. How did the three feet, how did you end, oh, because of the curbs. The curbing wasn't it. Right, right, right. What we happens, what's going to happen when, you, if you, you said five inches is normal, and if three you inches pump, three around. inches is normal, but if you put the pipe in there, mm -hmm. is that going to drain it to be no. nothing? No, no, no we're no, setting no, it no. at that pre-construction activity, yeah, which yeah. is... There was about five inches of water in the spring or a fall. Mm -hmm. They probably didn't want you to pump because you were working in a wetland, within the wetland. And, you know, there's lots of regulations. They were trying to figure out what caused it. Yeah, there really. was a, they had. Yeah, we didn't fault them for that, but, yeah. but in the interim, we weren't you, able to do it. How far are you out from the wetland, per se? How far? For the culvert? Yeah. Uh, the culvert's probably a good 30 feet, I would say, from the edge of the wetlands, maybe maybe 40. Okay, so you, you got an advantage it's, for that, yeah? Well, we, yeah, we have permission. So that's that's um, basically essentially what that letter is saying is that we work through all of the issues in open spacey in the farm pond area right. to identify the location, the size, and the elevation of this culvert to provide the historic relief, essentially the historic overflow of that area should water ever rise up to a specific elevation of 263. All right. I think we heard enough. Uh, <coughs> so when, all you're asking for is for us to approve the system? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, occupancy. Okay. Yeah. And occupancy. All right, I'll make I, a, I, a motion. I make a motion to approve system and uh, occupancy of the location. And a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, Thank, you, Thank you for allowing the discussion, too. No, just to make remind sure. the office it. what we discussed. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you for coming. We have Do you need one, this back? one more in there. I don't know if, it, if you want me to wait and take someone else, but we, a lot 14 is a four bedroom system. Eight, uh, we have a, we have a uh, in, in your package should be a uh, finished basement, just one open room and one um, Would you say what lot is gym it? area. Deed restriction? It's, no, no, it's a deed restriction. It's a, We're requesting a deed restriction. Yeah, but I don't have it, I don't have it here. Agenda. I don't have any agenda. Okay. I'm sorry. We have to have it on the agenda. Hmm. One thing at a time. Okay? She, Shelly brought it to me. She was bringing it in tonight for your for your sign off. So. Yeah. I, is it any? Is that yeah, she's uh, not here? I don't <laughs> see it. I don't see it. Later. Is it a something for us to just well, sign? I, I look. Let me see. If it's this a, is if a it's different. Deed, sure this is a badger. Oh dear Lord, let me see. Probably be in the in yeah. The, so on the back side of that, that's, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. <coughs> oh, you're lucky. Look at that. No. On the back. Side? On the back. Turn it all the way over. White Takes guy. That one White guy. <laughs> I think you have two packages there. Oh, yes. that's Four what three. it is. Man, they gave me so much today. Unbelievable. Oh, you're lucky, son of a gun. Yeah, you have a. Is that 13 to 10? Keep seven? going, one more. One I know, I know, keep going. Numbers oh, go up yeah, and down. Right, right, right. <laughs> right here. Okay, the existing house is eight room, four bedroom. A proposal of a total two finished room to the basement. Am I correct? Correct. The addition will result in 10 room total in the house, which will be require five bedroom septic system. You have a Enough. So we have a four bedroom system currently installed. So in other words, why does it say five bedroom? Similar to what we did on lot eight, eight with the finished basement, we, your, your, your group decided the best bet was to do deed restrictions. Right. Like we did on lot eight. This is another request for that deed restriction. Okay, so instead of five, four, there's a four bedroom. Still going to be a four bedroom. Deed restricted four bedroom, but you have two, you have a finished basement essentially is what you have. And okay. we usually see the plan. The you plan may. Right here. I'm in the bathroom basement. You, you could see. You doesn't started. matter. It's all bedrooms. I know it doesn't yeah. matter. I'm all right. <laughs> so they're asking, Looking even right though they, they were, they were additionally would be for five bedroom, they want a D restriction for four bedroom. So I think it's much easier to say, do this instead of to say, 
I have a four bedroom, I like to have five bedroom. <laughs> because the septic system is only for four bedroom. All right, so we can do that. And then you go nice and nice. <laughs> okay. We got other customers to take care of. What do you think? Yeah, we got a face. Yeah. What do you think? It's fine with me. Clean gas. I just hope people stick with it. Nice. Well, once people are in, there's a lot of. You can't. Your hands are off for these things, unfortunately. Yeah. But. Mm -hmm. I got it. I don't really need to look. I got it from the description. Okay. I, uh, I move to approve. I, uh, I entertain a motion first. Okay. All right. And then you say? I move to approve. The from five bedrooms to, bedroom to four bedrooms bed with the deed bedroom restriction. With the deed restriction for five. Or for four bedrooms. Whatever. That'd be no, no that's not what we're up. doing. No. <laughs> that's not what we're doing. <laughs> no, a deed no. restriction to keep it four bedrooms. Deed bed. restriction. I move to make it a deed restriction to keep it four bedrooms. With instead of five. Basement. Instead okay. of five. Yes. Okay, uh, second. 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 All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Would you please be kind enough to take off? <laughs> yes. yes. Thank you. For Thank you very time. much. All right. Thanks. Thanks. I don't know if we were allowed to do that because it wasn't on the agenda. It was in the package. Okay. Yeah. It was the last minute thing. I know, but. This way, I wish she, she promised she was going to be here tonight, but she. Yeah, I think we need to have her here just to check in. I don't think she would have given it to us if, and they would have come. You once don't mind if we take a deep breath for five seconds? <laughs> All right, you're up. <laughs> Is this some? Um, we will. Uh, we will address that after. We're doing. Um, we got Park a, This one here. Yes. This, this one here. For the Twenty-one Park Drive. We opened the meeting on the Park Drive. Oh, yeah. We closed the meeting for uh, the gentleman prior. On the lot of things of Oh, you yes. disappear. I did. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Come on, this is a waste. It's such a waste of trees. Okay. Well, these ones are around. Uh, okay. Cycles. These are for you to yours to keep because Jim wanted a revision. So there's two for the file. There's uh -huh. two for the shoulder file, one for your file. Wait one second, let me uh, let me look here. These are from the trees they cut down with other So we use yeah, it. I think that I was just reading. Oh, yeah. That's what we see. Uh, look at that. I read through Jim's notes, but I can't find them on my email. Story. Oh, that's what I was looking. Thank you. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's all right. Got Barry. It's all right, Chino. 21 Park Drive. <laughs> Let me read what Jimmy says. Okay. The existing switch disposal system for this site will be considered to be a failure. The leaching area is in water table. The applicant would like to replace the existing structure with a new one with the same number of bedrooms. How many bedrooms? Four? Two. Two? Okay. Soil test was done and a plan for the proposal system is being reviewed by this office. The site can train, prevent a system in full compliance with Title V and your regulation from being designed with water table, wetland, small lot size. How, how small the lot is? Uh, 10,800 oh. square feet. The proposal system requires local upgrade approval for the offset of this leaching area to the groundwater, four to three. Am I correct? Yes. And a variance to your regulation 27 to allow fill within 10 feet of the lot line two. Am I correct? 
Yes. But they use the retaining wall. No, oh, doesn't say anything else. But he says he had no problem oh. with the request. The area is served with the town water. The proposal system will be three inches above groundwater and it will be replacing the existing failing system. The use of the four foot offset will make it more difficult to maintain the system fill on the side. Oh. No, it's up to the board to decide. Well, I don't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. You were in a butter? Yes. Oh, uh, what's your name, young lady? Erin Healy. Okay. Would you be kind enough to tell us why you're, you're here? Uh, yeah, I... Are you objecting? Are you... Well, I had some questions, and I actually, hmm? when I got the, um, when I got the plan, I called the, the owner, but they didn't call me back. I just wanted to talk to them about it. So, I haven't seen any systems like this um, in a while. Because typically you'd put a presby in some place like this to, to try to get the, the grade down. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And that's actually for a two bedroom house. It's a you know it's a considerable area for a septic system. So what's going to happen is there's going to there's going to be a retaining wall. And how high how high is the retaining wall? Uh, three, uh, three, three feet. feet. Yeah, three feet. Yeah, so a three foot retaining wall all along my property line. Well, this is two and feet. I've got, with the I've got on two okay. sides. Would you here. would you mind having a little wall if it's done well? Uh, I'm I'm wondering if you guys considered a presby and the grading that would go along with that, so that I mean, we could maybe asking for a variance and why that that wasn't considered. And I'm not even sure if using a presby you would have needed a retaining wall. Uh, it it will. Um, so, the the system that I have designed here uses a 12 inch deep trench instead of a two foot trench. So just because this trench is shown on the plan, the the distribution line and the trench is actually the same. The, so a Presby pipe is 12 inches. That's all I'm proposing with these. So it's 12 inches. Mm -hmm. So offset to groundwater, three feet plus the 12 inches, Smaller. it's still going to be the same height. It's not going to be any height savings with the Presby. What the Presby would do is the, um, the size of the system might be a little bit smaller because they, are, they have, uh, because the way the DEP does their um, general use permit for the presbys there's actually savings in the in the system size but it wouldn't be a, a savings in the height of the system but it might allow you to slope it out so you might not need the retaining wall uh, I wouldn't because this is the offset to your property line mm. is, yeah. is the, this way well that's on one side though right this right but no matter how yeah. I'm gonna this, need a retaining wall you would, anywhere where would the slope reason. come out? Would you have to have the retaining wall on this side? Oh, yes. because of the slope in there. Right. See, this is an empty lot here. But it's and also then this wetland. Is, well, you know what I'm no, saying? No, that's the buffer. So this is no, my no, I'm lot. talking about over there. Yeah. yeah. So this is an empty lot. What happens is this slopes down. It comes into this lot, which is, is pretty wet. And that won't get developed, even though somebody called me and tried to develop it. And then it, it discharges into a drainage, which is actually a like a creek here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm trying to keep as much of the natural system in here as possible, um, because what's going to happen now is it's not going to have any natural features, because it's just going to be built up with a, a wall. And the wall is like right next to my property line. So that's problematic, too. Um, so I was just, I know that um, you know, by the regulations, you don't have to do it, but I was just wondering if, you know, what it would look like if you re-engineered it a little bit to try to get that slope leveled off. It's probably going to be the same elevation as your backyard now because of your wall. My wall? The, you, yeah, you have this oh, I'm four talking foot about, wall I'm, right I'm here. actually more concerned with this down here because I'm going to yep. have this lot here, which is, you know, this is all natural right now. Yep. And so this is going to be all engineered with a, a, a barrier. Mm -hmm. And then this is going to stay yes. natural coming down here. Yeah. And this is all not going to be developed ever. So you don't mind. Or, or on this side. So you don't mind for the water. Right. Down. But the, the water will actually go slower because we're leveling out the top. 
and then it gradually goes down instead of it being a hill all the way down. Yeah, I see your point. If you didn't, you, you could have some instability if you didn't put the wall in too because, mm -hmm. because of the slope there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I was hoping it would look different. Plus you're gonna have to cut a lot of trees down. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be ugly. Yeah, the, the soil testing went well, but it didn't go well enough yeah. to be able to increase the number of bedrooms or to make the system smaller or yeah. right. like even if we you know if I had gotten this to run but that, that's a double-edged sword too because if I got this to run two minutes an inch then I have a five foot groundwater offset yeah, yeah which yeah. makes yeah. it even worse so, so how it, big what's what's the square footage on this house uh, is it a thousand I don't oh. looks like Oh, old school. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the only ones that work. <laughs> Where the, near the... Mm. Yeah, so it's going to be 40 by... Forty by 44. 1,600? Yeah. Two floors or one? I, I don't know. I, I don't have uh, the architectural. So 1600 if it's two floors, 3200, and they say it's going to be two bedrooms. Well, it's still the. About that. It's still. This is garage all in here. Oh, it is? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take. So garage goes oh, back to 26. That mean, that's on the first back. floor. Yeah. Does that mean goes. it's going to be a slab with no basement? So it's slab it's be. Yeah, so the the garage goes to about right here. Okay. And then, you know, single car or two car. Can park. You know, the, it's going to go. The, the garage basically takes up the, the size of the existing Yeah, I know. House. They've got we've yeah. a couple well, of them on the street. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Those, you okay. Uh, I don't know what this does. So a slab, is it slab with no basement? Is no basement? Or is that walkout basement? No, that's the that that's the elevation of the of the basement floor okay. slab, and then it comes up to the top of concrete. Would you consider selling them that lot so that they can do the grade a little bit better? No, with no. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think there's with no with no wall. I don't think they would be able to grade it. You, any. Yeah, it would you be know really what? Hard. They'd have to fill it, and that's not, you can't, you shouldn't be filling that because right, it's yeah. in the buffer for the wetland. Mm -hmm. I think there's. Just leave as it is. Yeah, I don't think there's much to do there. Get your green it thumb would going. probably, uh, even get if. Get your green thumb going. Yeah, e even if we had the ability to grade onto that lot, okay. in order for me to catch up with grading, it, it would probably grade, you know, 10 feet away from. Wow. Yeah. Because you, you, once you you're behind the yeah, eight ball yeah, on, yeah, on a yeah, three to one yeah, slope, yeah. you'll never catch up. Mm -hmm. You're better off leaving it wet anyway yeah. because it, it, you know, we're, we're basically losing a lot of drainage mm -hmm. because we're developing and everywhere, like you're seeing at the tree farm, you know. So, ladies and gentlemen, did you arrive to a conclusion? Yes. May I entertain a motion? Did you get your questions answered? Yes, I did. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You can come back if you want. Yeah. I just want vote. Yes, that's fine. I'm set. Okay, I'm maintaining a motion. I think what he's put together is very, very good. It's the best he could do. Right, for two bedrooms. Yeah. Um, well, I, inter I, inter I, inter I motion to approve. Okay, I second. It Any second? Are you seconding? No, no. I, no, no, I you entertain you a second. second. Yeah. Okay. All in favor? It's only to us. Aye. 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 When I say I entertain a second, wrong. that means... I did. Oh. Did I spell it on the letter too? L O I. That's okay. Did you send the letter? It's not a big deal. You sent the letter. So huh? there's no register. Yeah. Now everybody spells it wrong. It's no big deal. Oh, I spelled it right on the letter. I spelled it, I spelled it wrong on the plane. It really doesn't make any I'm difference. I'm sorry. In like seven places on the plane. Hey, can I ask you a couple? Nick, yeah. Yeah. Are you surveying the lot lines? Yes. Oh, good. Yep. Are you going to put so markers in? Because I need to know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you, you know, um, can you put markers in there? Yeah, it's but then so, 
there's uh, there's a granite bond right there. Oh. Oh, okay. Yep. And then that existing fence is right on the line. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I didn't mark it. There's. Uh, you can mark it there if you want. No, there wasn't anything there. I looked at the bottom of that stone wall. You know, there's like a, it's it's like a bunch of stones, like right. Um, One on top of here. the other. Yeah. Oh, here, yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't find anything. I was hoping to find like an iron rod stuck in there or something, but um, but, but yeah, you got I this can, one here. Yeah, um, trying to remember where the where the actual fence okay. ends. I think it's very close. So. Okay. Well, I'd appreciate. Yeah, I can, I can stay Somebody here. to. I'd like to see what you're going to do so I can plan what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. You going to do this to us? Yes, because these have to go to Shelley. All right. So. Well, you have a good night. Thank you for coming. Is the next one pretty easy? Because um, the next one, you want to go? I think the next one's just a discussion. Go I was going to go on. Go ahead. The basketball thing. Please do. No, wait a minute. Only family is important. Wait a minute. Only one. I'm not leaving. I said please do. <laughs> I'm with you, Gino. Go Tigers. You have a good day. Go Tigers. Hey, enjoy. I'll see you next couple weeks. Then. Yeah. Oh, the um. You're going to talk about the thing tomorrow? There's an opiate? Oh, yeah. Thanks again. Is it the police department? You did the best you could do. Police department? It's great. You have the police department? So, um, how long have you been on? Find out from um, About tail end of last year. Okay. Um, Running again. Oh, that's it. That, that, that shows how long I've been away from you. <laughs> Napoli spoke about that. Yeah. I forgot to write it down. Yeah, I started on Facebook. Right, so I'm going to be for a while. Close the meeting for, for this young man and the uh, Lot 21. Am I correct? Good work. You oh, a good did day? I need to give that, not fold that so much? That's all right. <laughs> did you did you write your name and everything? Yes. I, I'm the one that started the list, so. Yes. Right. And then these are for your records. Those are the certified. Okay, thank, thank you. All right, we'll get it. One second, we'll let it do with it. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yes. No. What's up, Gino? Oh, right here. Oh. All right. Uh, now we have ninety-seven Mill Road. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> nice. What's the next area? We'll open the meeting, 10 minutes of 8, for 97 Mill Road. Would you state your name, please? Brian Badger. Thank you. Dave Block. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, Lisa Flanagan. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we don't have our What's your name? <laughs> Gino. All right. Jim should have sent some notes. Yeah, we do, but just tell us a story. Okay. This is the... Take it easy. Thank you. See you later. Drive safely. Yes, you too. Thank you. This is the Poly Lumber property. Um, we dug some test holes to see about where the septic could go, and we found an area where the septic um, can go, um, but we're we're basically uh, calling an upgrade. It's a it's zoned industrial. Jim was kind of he wasn't sure how to calculate how we how it should be determined because it it has a lot of buildings on it. Right, right. And uh, you know there's a septic for the a garage, the 5,000 square foot garage. There's a septic over here for the office. And um, Jim finally determined that well. You know how many employees were there right and uh, Henry Pali said there were 20 you know basically right. at at the busy time you know right. and they were kind of uh, closing down and uh, they went down on the, on yeah this, on the help. I mean at the, in October I think they were down to four so so Jim was I had mentioned I told him 20 and uh, Jim was just, uh, he, he was okay with that. He said to run it by the board, though. Okay. Now, this is a, am I, dis 
Am I right? Just a discussion? Or will you, uh, you'll, you'll it's a discussion. We're, okay. We yeah. haven't figured out what we're right. going to do with right. it yet. Um, so do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. Okay. So how many, how many acres are there? Four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. Uh, what's your the intention to use those four and a half acres? We don't, we don't know yet. Because it's owned industrial, we can have bulk storage. Um, we thought we were going to be able to, uh, we had somebody interested in keeping the sawmill, running it, but oh, then he, oh. he said, away. yeah, he said, nah, it's oh, okay. too much headache for him. And, okay. Uh, so w your intention eventually would be to build housing or just to maintain the same way? We, we, we don't, do we don't, don't know. know. It's owned oh, industrial. Okay. It's owned industrial. Yeah. We don't, we don't know. We don't want to, you know, originally in the show of a corporation was, thinking about putting a garage up. I, I bought this with with uh, Don Sloan and Chuck Driscoll, who own okay. Neshoba, <coughs> Neshoba Corporation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Those are the pavers, the paving company? They Is pay. That Is that Neshoba Corporation? Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Well, I, I, you know, they have Neshoba paving and then they have corporation because, you know, people, down the road said, oh, Neshoba Paving is buying, they're going to be making asphalt here. It's like, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. And, uh, They're going to use it for different things, yeah, without, yeah. yeah well, myself and, and uh, Donnie and Chuck, we own the, on the corner of Porter Road and Taylor Street where Philadelphia Sign is. We own those buildings, mm -hmm. too. I mean, we just kind of so dilly dally. Of, dilly dally at the moment, but yeah. my, I think the board would like to know is, if you if you're going to use it now you want to probably improve the septic system first am i correct we don't know yet okay we, 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 what we're trying to do is to get some kind of idea idea yeah. and and circulate it from the people yeah, that might be you know, interested we we have you know at this point you know yeah we might rent the building out right, um, right. what if know, somebody storage. comes says okay four and a half acres and there's no aquifer, there's no no water there, there's no... Oh, well, we have the, uh, we have the floodplain. Oh, you do have it? We have a floodplain elevation there. Oh, okay, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 te it. I tend to disagree with that elevation. I think it should be down about two more feet because uh, in discussing it with um, Pa Lee, they, the only time that they got flooded here was when the beaver dam Okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, this has never been N never, flooded. Never, and, never. Uh, if somebody comes and says, "Okay, uh, I like to buy and uh, we want to build some housing," would you, what would your thought going to be? Well, they'd have well, to they change can't. the zoning. They'd have to change the zoning. No, yeah, no. We'd, we'd have to. We'd, we'd have, have to go, go to the planning board. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, we. We're, we're probably going to end up with some kind of plan anyway. You okay. Know, I see. I'm sure. We want to look at all the options. Um, you know, it's it is industrial. Right, right. You know, so maybe you maintain it as industrial. And well, right now our intention is probably just you know maybe do storage outside storage. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a kiln building here. Right, right. Uh, I actually, uh, it's 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 uh, 78 degrees in there all the time, right, which right. is kind of nice. So, so, are you thinking about keeping all the existing buildings and working for the moment and we, trying to find? We some can't. We don't want to take anything out of. For the moment, because they're in the aqua. Well, they're in the floodplain. Yeah, we can't. We're not going to touch anything until we know what we want to do. Well, and according to the soil testing, they can't go any bigger. They can right. only go small. Right. They right. can't expand. Yeah. Yeah. On what it is, so they. They can't expand the septic. They cannot. Right. We'll expand the site so, to we, increase we, the septic, but they can expand the site. We have an area that we can still no. test, but at the time. Henry said that there's sand under here, right? But we couldn't. The sawmill was still in operation. Right. There's a very high power line going underground, so we were going to stay yeah, away from right. that. And, Good call. You know, we just we just did a little pick here, a little pick yeah, there. Yeah, miscellaneous to see what we had for soil. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's ledge yeah. in some spots, and well, if it's something that you wanted to do, if I think the first step would be to have a perk test, you know. Just yeah, well, we did we did perks over here. So okay. there is, if we wanted to upgrade the septic system to 
Yes. You know, we could we could put it in there. Okay. Um, so, but and that that was the thing that Jim was uh, concerned about. Yeah. Do you want me to see what Jim says there? Yeah. Okay, 97 Mill Road. <clears throat> this is the Parley Lambert site. A proposal buyer of the property is looking to replace the septic system, but there is a no Board of Health permit to determine past use. The replacement of the system will be an upgrade, and the board has nothing upon which to base the past use. Soil testing reveal expansion of the use of the property will not be possible, ledge, flood plan, high water table. The proposal buyer did, not, did some research on the past use of the existing businesses and will be present into you with the hope that you will find the process. And this finding of the past use acceptable and therefore allow the use to be the basic for the design flow of a replacement system for the site. I have discussed I've discussed the research with him and I seem reasonable for the site. So that's nice of you to come. You got if you want to have a, a copy of this, we'll be you can come tomorrow and get it from uh, Shelley. Mm -hmm. And uh, we leave it up to you. I, I think it was very nice of you to come and tell us what you you have and uh, you know if if you wanted to change it it's you have to go to the process yeah, we'll definitely come yeah. come back and have right, right. you know something else we just wanted to wish you a lot of luck because you know there's a lot of money invested there yeah yeah but you do or do not have the past usage no there's no record the there's purchase. no record there's no records on you know we know that there's a septic tank here and a leach field in something there and then there's a septic <laughs> tank over this all here. done at midnight or something uh, like that way back when well Polly <laughs> it was a it, it was Polly a, bought it in the right? 50s it was all outhouses yeah um, <laughs> 70 years ago you know who had it after that I uh, I I don't know if they what they did I mean this was the oldest working sawmill in the United States I know yeah uh, Polly bought it in the 50s and I don't know if he I have a feeling he's the one. Nice that people, though. I, every time I buy something there, they're yeah. very nice. To the, they accommodate me for whatever I need. Yeah. I, we've never come up against an industrial mm -mm. septic. No, we've no, only no. I've only done I residential, did. so. Did. Yeah, only. Yeah. Well, and that's what makes it difficult because you, you know, you. There's you, no bedrooms. You're talking employees. Right. You know. Right. 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 You got to base it basically on how many bathrooms. See, sometimes you can. I would think bathrooms and employees, and then. Sometimes you do square footage of the building. But with mm. so many buildings, but some are sheds and some are, you know, some are enclosed. Uh, that's enclosed. That's enclosed. That's enclosed, and that's open end. So, I think Jim was just. He said, you know, try to find out how many employees. I, that was the best way to. Mm -hmm. give him an idea. Come up with a calculation. Yeah. Right, right. Do you have? specific questions or anything that would besides what you've already stated and whatnot for the discussion no, no um, not okay. really uh, I know this is a tough piece of property but uh, we're still you know again until uh, well now everything's so frozen we're not gonna right, go right. beat the uh, well you're welcome to come anytime if you have any question or something you never know somebody will come and say to you we like to rent it from you you know you never know but we wish you luck, you know. What other businesses could rent it or could use it? And are you, and, and, and are you trying to maintain the oldest sawmill in the, in right, the state? Right, right. That'd be nice. Is yeah. that what you bought well, it for? Well, all the equipment's gone. Oh, it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so now these are empty buildings. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. that sawmill actually went to Tennessee, and then it was probably going to go to uh, wow. uh, South America. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, oh, my God. They need it was a, not a museum. It was a gift <laughs> to South America because they have no money there. They got a lot of lumber down there, and yeah, yeah. you know, the, I, for, for the I don't know. It took it took a, uh, three guys about ten days to ass um, un disassemble unassemble. it, and then I think it cost fifty thousand dollars to truck it. Oh my God! Down to Tennessee, and God knows, you know, unbelievable. They're going to ship it over there in parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it, it is a nice piece of property. I, I, I just hope everything goes well for you because 
uh, you know, when you buy something, you don't know sometimes what to do with it, but uh, something will come up. Well, we had Hats Corp that was interested in that, you know, Hats Corp from Acton. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, they wanted to, they were looking for a place to maybe may keep pallets because they got yeah. pallets all yeah. over. Yeah, you never know, you know. And we were hoping, see, they bought, Hats Corp bought a uh, property in China and they're building another place in China. Another facility. So now they're shipping pallets over to China, China. but they have to be sterilized. Oh. And they ship the pallets up to New Hampshire. Well, of course, we were like, well, well we got a kiln building here. Yeah, what do we do here? So I, I've been doing the research, but you need to get the kiln building about, I think it has to go to 135 degrees to, oh, I see. to yeah, kill Yeah, sterilizing the, and kilning are yeah, yeah, two, kiln two kiln different logs. things. <laughs> but... No, it was still Something kinda, will come up. Yeah, I mean, it, it, right now we're kind of putting our own equipment in the yeah, buildings to get it out of the use way. It, I mean, it, it's yours, and I would so. just hope that you can make some income, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's uh, one way. You know, we, we do have, I mean, I, I talked to Roland about outside store, you know, yeah. what we could do, and, you know. So I mean, we just, you know. It's, it's wait until the spring. It's one of these things that doesn't move fast, you know, no, it's just no. you want to <laughs> take your time and plan stuff. That so. is true. That is true. But, uh, so. It would be kind of an interesting thing if you reversed it and maybe built a Christmas tree farm or lumber, some kind of, you know, reverse yeah, what it used yeah. to be for and use it. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you could make it, make your money back on that, but yeah, I don't know. plant trees <laughs> since turkey's out, lumber yard's gone, no, yeah, you know. Okay. Well, we are we love the Christmas tree farm. We also own the piece of property that, uh, at the end of Warren Road. It's on right at the corner where, where you stack Henry everything. used to. Yeah, mm -hmm. Henry used to. And of course, we had somebody that wanted to sell Christmas trees there temporarily. Right, yeah. right around Thanksgiving, but we didn't own it yet. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah, yeah. you know. It, of course, he was in the military, so we probably would have given it to him for nothing anyway. I parked there one time. And because I was doing a walk, I yeah. parked there next to the logs, and I said, "You know, this will be the day that they all tumble down." <laughs> <laughs> well, and somebody else had posted on Facebook that somebody that was painting the lines in two A, they had packed yeah, over there, and they threw paint, a couple oh. cans of paint, into the brook. Uh, I don't, I don't know what. So we after after I saw that we threw the blocks and blocked that whole thing off so nobody can park yeah. there. So thank you so much for coming. Okay. I wish you happy new year. God bless you. And anything we can do to help you out, you know, you can welcome to come back. Okay. okay. All right. Anything. All right. Take thank care you. yourself. Yeah. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Same here. It's been a while since I've been to a board of health meeting. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're always welcome. <laughs> we got, uh, why don't you read that? I already read one, the minutes. We got to prove the minutes. Can borrow a pen? Yes, right here. Yes, uh, okay. okay, we got this done. That's good. And then we got the other one done. 97 mil. Yeah, we got that done. All right. All right. You want to keep this uh, what we did tonight? You want to take it no, with you? I have it okay. on my email. All right. Thank you. Take care. Okay, you too. Davey, you want something to take it home with you? I'm all set. Okay. All right. So this is what uh, uh, Shelley said to Brian. Uh, you know, we really did a good job today. 
So um, he didn't have any plans to, for us no. to approve and or no, anything, no. right? No, okay. no. He came as a discussion. Okay. Yeah. All right. We, we, might have a lot of, we might have a lot of people come in for discussion first. And well, that's just them making sure that we have a heads up that this is what's coming in the future mm -hmm. and it's respect to yeah. us, too, I think, yeah. so. Yeah. I also... Um, You're a good kid. Uh, if I can mention something while you guys are ahead. reading. So tomorrow night yeah. at the high school mm -hmm. is I'm the... I'm try uh, and go to that. Um, gosh, the Littleton Coalition Against Addiction and they're having um, a discussion tomorrow night at the high school from 7 to 9. For opiates. Opioid abuse. Right. Yeah, it was, yeah, um, you're right, you're right. I, that's what it, Napoli said. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to But the, you know the group. I'm saying. <laughs> Besides, people don't realize it. Rotary brought this up before anybody else did for opiates to a point where we had the governor of Massachusetts come into a, a meeting. We had a 200 and 15 people, okay, in, in Bedford Hotel, all right, and they paid $35 to, just to listen to the governor. He was very concerned about opioids, as we are too, mm -hmm. the Rotary, to a point where I I gave out 14,000 pamphlets. I probably I should give it to you, a couple of guys, so you know what I'm talking about. So can they, we distribute, I distribute to the school of, uh, I give it to the superintendent, I think about 500. I give it to the uh, technical school right here in Westford, another 500, and the police came to me to say, you know, they would like to have some, so I was, you know what I mean? Uh, the invitation came, and mm -hmm. I took advantage of it, so I, and I give it, so they, the children, they, they go there to be educated, they can understand what the pamphlet says, if there's any problem, you know, to, to look for help. So we this, we, Rory, they anticipated before it came to the selectmen, so then they had a, a, a presentation at the, I, at the school, you know what I mean? So it goes, it goes, everybody says something, like you mentioned, you like to let people know what the office really is. Mm -hmm. Now it, it's a, uh, the governor made uh, to a point where the doctor cannot give more than four or five pills instead right. of giving 25, 50, okay? So everybody's on board to a point where the President of the United States issue seven billion dollars towards this crisis mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. to, to see if they can get help instead of the uh, if they get caught by the police and they get caught being high or something they try to save these kids because they don't know what they're doing you know what i mean so there is a lot of a lot of people involved in this yep but it's nice that so, the, the town is also yep. involved you know what i'm saying so yeah. i found it so tomorrow is a community forum mm -hmm. with guest speaker um, richie farrell a former boxer from lowell an addiction survivor um, evening includes guest speakers from littleton um, and a question and answer session and that is at the high school tomorrow at, from seven to nine free january 10th i'm going i think erin said she was going to go Good. too we're gonna try, but we gotta get the, the babies that are going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And then I, I know I had answer. talked about doing something, um, I think maybe, so I went to that mass public health meeting back in the fall, and um, it was more not survivor stories, survival stories and beating the odds and, and mm -hmm. surviving and, and getting, you know, um, beating your addiction, but more like a public health thing um, and how we can get the schools and the police and the town and everything involved. Cool. So I may contact mm -hmm. after this um, discussion tomorrow, I may contact that coalition and see if I can help us get like a public health, a mass public health. That would be amazing to have. I don't know yeah. what we would do. You know, I mean, we can say don't use it, don't yeah, use it, don't right. use it. Yeah, it's, it's, up, to, happens, it's up to the parents to, but and the children. No, it's up but to over, the addicts. But over educating, which is yes. giving the pamphlets, over educating mm -hmm. is what prevents in the uh, Remind me to bring some of that pamphlet so I can give it to you guys. You I, mean, I think you gave us some. I did? I know you gave me one. Oh, I know that. But I can give you more if you yeah, need. Yeah, I would like to hand them out. I would love to. Yeah. So before we close the meeting, you know what I mean, and adjour adjourn, I wanted to make sure you people. Uh, I read the minutes. Yes. The minutes. So I read the minutes myself, and then you reading it now. Yep. We'll wait, and then uh, we close the meeting, and then we can discuss if you like this. Dis anything else that they come up? Somebody really needs to. <coughs> hey, I'm at a meeting.
Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that we have. Ah, oh my God! Yeah, we got some signings oh to do, don't we? Oh my God! Good thing I know. I noticed. I um, wasn't gonna let you forget. I've been looking oh, at it the whole hey, time. Let me approve. Ooh, if you thousand. sign things on top of the other, it's going to carbon copy into the other ones. Okay, so okay. Careful, you know. Thank you, thank you. Sure thing. Okay, now this is a third quarter billing, nursing service. I gotta pay, otherwise, <gasps> she's gonna call me back. All right, should I put a date too? Okay, we got this done. And then we're gonna sign, ooh, good thing I noticed. Mamma mia. I never hear the end of it. Now the date's right. <laughs> you sign, you got a pen? Yes, sir. They give it to the young lady? There's no lot size. Through the short ones. Whoa. 0.25. Wow, thank God we found it. Boy, she'd be happy now. Oh, we back early. Did you already sign? Did you already sign? I can't read your writing. Sign there? Did you sign this one? Right? No. Right. Can't remember. Right so this is the one that um, can. this is the one that we just did. No, that's yeah. Park Drive. We did do Twenty One Park Drive. Okay. That was the uh, we that approved was Aaron's. before signing. Yeah. Okay. That was Aaron's um, yeah. paper. Yeah. Is it raining? All right, big guy. So I have something. Um, do you know that the fire that happened? Yeah, yeah and, and that lady a, died. Yeah. yeah so uh, they, it was supposed to be. Was it day after New Year's? Yeah. Day, um, um, New Tuesday. Year's Eve, I think. Did you know the lady? No, I didn't. I, I, but heard, the I heard that there was a hoarding situation. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. No. Do we know where it was? King Street. It was on King Street, but yeah. I can't remember the number. I, I don't know the number. It was a whole house. Um, That's too bad. Yeah. yeah. They, they make me realize I better clean up my barn. <laughs> well, you don't live in the barn. They'll still be able to get to you. That's the problem. There's too much in the way they can't get to you to pull you out if it's in your house. Um, no, no, I know. I, I say the barn is need to be cleaned up. I, uh, I, got it. I cleaned it one time. But you know what it is when you're working and you bring stuff I'm going to use for another job, puppy, blah, blah. Yeah. I got to clean that up. But anyway. Okay. okay. Motion to adjourn. Entertain a motion for uh, to, to be adjourned. I second it. You do? All motion, motion that we adjourn. Yeah. Okay. And then we all second. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm people to second. Here, to that right. here.